Thanks for joining me for another episode of Alter-G's clinical tips and tricks. A question we get a lot is, what body weight do we start patients at in the Alter-G? Well, if a patient is partial weight bearing, they have restrictions where they need to protect the healing tissue. But we can still encourage movement for these patients in the Alter-G. And it makes sense why they would need body weight support. For patients that are weight bearing as tolerated, they can also benefit. Let me show you how in today's video. With the Alter G technology, patients can be unloaded in precise 1% increments to as low as 20% body weight. This allows the patient to adjust the support to levels exacting to their needs for comfort and pain reduction. Less pain for the patient means less guarding, improved motion, and better gait mechanics. Once the patient has completed the calibration process, lower the body weight to 50%. Have the patient try a few squats, a few single limb stances, a few balance activities in the Alter-G to see where their pain level is. If they still have symptoms, continue decreasing body weight in 10% increments. If pain is eliminated, you could try and increase body weight in 10% increments. The goal is to provide the minimum amount of body weight support necessary to allow the patient to be pain free when standing or walking. You can use smaller increments to try and pinpoint the exact level for each patient. Once the pain has decreased, start the treadmill at a comfortable pace. Increase the treadmill speed to try and restore a normal gait pattern before trying to increase load for that patient. If the patient reports symptoms after their session on the Alter-G, do not change body weight parameters at their next session. If the patient does not complain of pain, then they can increase body weight at their next workout a limit increase to no more than 10% body weight to prevent overloading the healing tissue too soon. Once a patient has comfortably reached 85 to 90% body weight, they're usually ready to return to full body weight activities with minimal discomfort. If a patient returns before they can tolerate that body weight, the likelihood is they will have soreness or pain because of the loads applied to both the healing tissue and the supporting musculature. So now you know where to start your patients in the Alter-G anti-gravity treadmill. Whether they're partial weight bearing or weight bearing is tolerated, they can all benefit from the body weight support. You can help them decrease pain and encourage movement. If you help your patients defy gravity, you can help them defy their expectations.